Five months ago, I just came here from the U.S. Forest Service working as a wildland firefighter in Oregon. My father works as a surgical assistant in a hospital. Um, I have other you know, loved ones that I know who work in hospitals. Just being able to see them get up and go to work and help others you know, it helps me too, even on the bad days, because you know, everybody has bad days, everybody has good days. This is something that people would read going through school. You know, we've read about Ebola, the Black Plague, HIV, all the different pandemics and outbreaks we've had in the past. I never imagined 12 years later after getting out of school, I'd be actually living and going through it, you know, being on the front lines, I guess. Seeing it, seeing the reality of it in the hospital, seeing loved ones worried, the people I live with too, them being in a hospital environment, it's hard to not think that one of us could potentially come in contact with somebody who is positive and then potentially get sick. So that's a big thing is just being able to go to work and protect ourselves, but also protect everybody we're coming home to. I guess what I want people to know is that, you know, I'm not trying to be the bad guy. I'm trying to keep them safe, the family members safe and I'm trying to also keep myself and my coworkers safe. And we're trying to help everybody as best we can, and we're trying to protect everybody as best we can too. Um, granted, yes, it means separating you, know, you from your loved ones and not knowing what's going on, but you know, we, it, we do it for a reason.